question. And one that can actually save you a lot of pain and suffering. He says, I just watched your episode, Windows 7 Super Guide, that mentioned the program Windierstadt. I like to say it that way. After downloading and running it, I found that the biggest file usage, four gigabytes, was from the page filing under pagefile.sys. There seems to be a lot of disputes on the internet as to disabling, letting Windows manage, or setting a one-to-one -one ratio of page file to actual RAM. What are your recommendations? Robert C. All right, Robbie boy, um, just leave the page file alone. Pagefile.sys is the file that Windows uses for virtual memory. When Windows requires more memory for apps and you have physical RAM for it, it uses the page file. It's slower than physical RAM, but it can hold a lot more. Um, with RAM being so cheap these days, many people have systems running with 4, 6, 8, or even 12 gigabytes of RAM. And if you've got 12 gigabytes of RAM, why on earth would you ever need virtual RAM? You save space and Windows won't use the slower hard drive as a substitute. Right? Now, of course, like 8, 12 gigabytes, it's only going to work with a 64-bit operating system like Windows 7. And this argument goes way, people have been trying to figure yeah. out how to eliminate the, the page file forever. I want it zero. I want it all in RAM. I'm going to run it on a RAM disk. I'm going to put it on the moon. I know. I was going back and looking at entries from 2004 about the same problem. Further back, it's been around forever. Yeah. Uh, but the thing is, for most situations, there's no real measurable performance benefit in doing so in the contemporary operating systems. Windows is smart enough to use it dynamically. Windows won't use virtual memory unless unless it needs to, and when it does, it shrinks or expands the page file as needed. Um, five or six years back, one of the performance tweaks you made to Windows was to set the minimum and maximum page file sizes to the exact same size, usually one and a half times the size of the physical RAM you had installed. The thinking was that you were saving Windows the chore of dynamically expanding or shrinking the page file, thereby saving time. Now, remember, this is when we were all running Windows 98 and Pentium 2 PCs. If you're really curious to manually change the size of the file, you would go to the Advanced System Settings in Windows 7. Under Performance, select Settings, then Advanced, and then head to the Virtual Memory section and select Change. But these days, it's not really all that useful, and in certain cases, you could affect system performance in a bad way. The general rule of thumb is to leave it alone. That's what she said. Leave it alone. If you're squabbling over 8 gigabytes of hard disk real estate, which is, by the way, the size of a typical finished Chexilla episode before it gets encoded, you've got other issues than the page file eating space. Space. The Rule final of thumb. Frontier. Yeah. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. <laughs>